Assalamualaikum, uh, apa khabar semua? So, kita bersambung lagi untuk video kali ni. For this video, um, this is topic 6. And this topic is related on the design for multiple reaction. Um, just to uh, recall on the previous topics, kalau macam topic 4, um, we deal with uh, topic 4, we deal with design of single reactor. Topic 5, we design design we design of multiple reactor okay both of topic 4 and topic 5 we design um, single reactor for single reaction topic 5 design of multiple reactor for single reaction but this topic will be designing um, of multiple reaction And design of multiple reaction for single reactor. Okay. So let's have a look. What does it mean by multiple reactions? So next page. Okay. Uh, not only that. In this topic, we'll be dealing with um, a different types of multiple reactions. And then um, because of we have different multiple reactions to um, run together at the same time. We need uh, parameters of selectivity and yield. Sebab kita ada banyak reaction, so kita kena being selective of which reaction actually that we want. So and then, um, the different types of multiple reactions are the parallel reactions and also series reactions and also independent reactions. So, tapi kita akan highlight um, these two parallel reactions and series reactions which are mostly being used in uh, industries. Okay, kita tengok types of multiple reactions. So, kalau parallel reactions, kalau you tengok, you have reactant A and this reactant A will producing B but at the same time, produce, uh, reactant A producing C. Okay, you have reactant A, it's producing B but at the same time, you, the reactant A will be producing C. So, ini kita kata parallel reactions, which is these reactions happen at the same time, but producing different types of uh, products. So, for example, um, katalah, this reaction is the desired reaction. Desired. Ini adalah produk yang kita nak. And... The A producing C is the undesired one. Okay. Uh, so, kat sini nantilah kita perlu menggunakan parameter selectivity and yield to quantify how much um, B we need and to quantify what is the rate of reaction uh, untuk B. And sometimes, sometimes lah, ada case yang kadang-kadang kita uh, tidak memerlukan um, we identify uh, A producing C is as undesired reaction tapi sebenarnya C ni over the time is the most valuable product so the so bermaksud you akan identify you akan quantify the selectivity of to producing C more than producing B okay Itu parallel reactions. Kalau kita tengok series reactions, so kalau katalah kita ada A, reactant A, and this A will produce B. And this B will further produce C. Okay, nampak tak? Daripada A, dia produce B. Daripada B ni, dia produce C. So, ini kita panggil dia sebagai series reactions. Contoh, maybe um, B kepada C is the desired one. 
desired. Um, kemudian A kepada B is undesired. So again, kita akan menggunakan parameter selectivity and yield. Untuk uh, to quantify the rate of reaction, maybe the concentration, the apa-apa yang kita pernah belajar sebelum ni, conversion of uh, apa? Uh, for example, the reaction B to C, for example. Okay, let's have a look at the independent reactions. Kalau independent reactions is these two reactions that happens at the same time doesn't really related to each other. Okay, A kepada C, B kepada D. Dia tak ada, tak ada something yang related. Okay, kalau kita tengok complex reactions pula, complex reaction is uh, simply the combination of parallel and also series. Contoh, A mula-mula dia akan merasakan B, um, kemudian A kepada C, tapi B ni dia akan bergabung dengan C untuk menghasilkan D. Okay, yang ini pula A dia menghasilkan B and C, tapi pada masa yang sama A akan bergabung dengan C untuk menghasilkan D. Okay, dia kompleks. Dia adalah combination between parallel and also um, series, series of reactions. So, um, saya nak berbalik pada kononnya parallel dan series ni. Sebab ini yang kita akan um, will be looking more uh, on parallel and series. So, for example, A present B ada constant rate of K1. A kepada C ada constant rate of K2. So, meaning that the reaction rates may be different. So, A kepada B is Ka for example Kb okay just just to indicate that the rate of reactions may be different so this is where you need to design your multiple reactions in single reactor and again when we talk about design we still need to find the rate of reaction we still need to find what is the maybe conversion and maybe we have to measure how much is the concentration flow rates etc so that's um Again, you have to use um, the previous uh, knowledge that you uh, belajar from previous um, topics. Okay, kita masuk um, the parameter on how to find um, selectivity and yield. First, that I like to define the selectivity is... How much we are going to quantify the product, one product which is favoured over another product. Okay, there are two types of selectivity which is instantaneous and also overall. So again, selectivity uh, definition is we need to quantify one favoured pro product over the unfavoured one. So, katalah contoh untuk parallel reaction. Okay. Um, K1. Ataupun kita letak KD. KU. So, meaning that D is desired product. KU is undesired product. So, katalah desired product. Undesired product. Um... Dia, it identifies here that selectivity is the rate of desired product over uh, undesired. Selectivity of favoured product over unfavoured. Unfavored. So, meaning that you need to find the RA for desired product. So, for example, um, this reaction is elemental. So, meaning that the rate law here is KD RA. Kalau yang ni pula, uh, RA, U, for example. So, the rate law would be KU, RA, for example. I'm sorry, um, salah. Bukan RA. CA. Okay. Okay, 
Um, so for this example, kalau instantaneous, so the RD over RU, which is yang ni lah RD lah, eh? yang ni RD, yang ni lah RU. So meaning that it's going to be negative KD over CA, uh, negative KD CA over negative KU CA, for example. Okay, so and then you get um, KD over KU, the selectivity. So the selectivity based on this chemical reaction, contoh. Uh, tapi untuk selectivity for overall, it uh, how do how we measure is based on the flow rate bukan berdasarkan reaction rate so maksudnya kalau you ada information on the flow rate for um, desired product for uh, so kita akan quantify uh, based on flow rate okay um i just want to um, emphasize on the this is selectivity, right? Saya nak masuk sikit on uh, pasal uh, the rate law here. So, if let's say the rate law asks for the RA net for this parallel reaction. So, meaning that it's going to be RA desired plus undesired one. So, bermakna KD, CA plus KU, CA. Okay. So this is how you quantify um, the reaction rate for a parallel reaction, for example. Okay. Untuk yield, um, the definition is actually the, uh, the ratio of reaction rates based on the ratio of um uh, uh, sorry yield is actually uh there the dua juga which is um instantaneous yield and also overall yield so kalau instantaneous yield uh, the definition is the ratio between uh, desired reaction rate over reaction rate of uh, disappearing of limiting reactant Kalau overall uh, yield is actually based on flow rate of desired and flow rate um, initial minus remaining. Okay. Okay, this is where I actually bagi contoh ni tadi. Ni. Tapi saya bagi contoh untuk single reactant. Yang ini adalah dual reactant. Dia parallel parallel uh, reactions tapi uh, dia ada dua reactant so you have to find um, the rate law for this desired kemudian rate law untuk undesired ok kemudian you boleh cari uh, selectivity uh, desired over undesired this one ok Okay, let's have a look at the parallel reactions or should I stop here for a while?